Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI video. In this one, we're in Chat LLM Teams, and I am gonna show you how to create your own custom chatbots using their AI engineer functionality. Abacus AI has made some big changes to their user experience. It's a lot more streamlined, it's a lot easier to use, and they've also added in some functionality regarding using their API on a consumption basis. So you can create custom chatbots and agents and then use their API and embed the result wherever you want. Or you can also just go ahead and use it right inside chat LLM, however you please. We're going to cover all of that in this video. Let's get to it. All right. So the next step is an easy one. You just want to head over to abacus.ai like I've done here. Links in the description below. And then just hover over products and select chat LLM or just click on chat LLM teams, which is what I'm going to do. And then presto, it takes us to the chat LLM teams. You have two options. You can sign in or you can sign up if you don't have an account. Just click on get started here. That said, I should note here that this is only $10 per user per month and you get the first month free. I mentioned that because a chat GPT license alone is $20 a month. So everything you see here is going to be at half the price of a single chat GPT license. And you get access to all the best LLMs, all the artifact windows, custom chatbots, you name it. So just keep that in mind. Anyways, with that out of the way, I'm going to go ahead and click on sign in and let's get started. All right. Once you've logged in, you should see a screen that looks just like this. The first thing I like to do, click on that little down arrow and then just take a quick look here. Now, what we're looking for is down at the bottom, the AI engineer. But let me just quickly point out here that they have access to all of the best large language models, all of the state-of-the-art ones, including, and this is very important, the brand new O1 Preview and O1 Mini from OpenAI. They've got it all here, as well as Search LLM, which is the Search GPT competitor, but of course, Search LLM has shipped and Search GPT has not. So there you go. We're going to go right down to the bottom. Like I said here, click on AI Engineer. When you do that, you're going to see here, hello, I am an AI engineer, your assistant for Abacus AI, create a custom chatbot. Let's go through that. All right, so here we go. So creating your own custom chatbot with AI engineer is easy. They have streamlined the user experience to almost just literally just click and go. So here we go. We're going to create a custom chatbot. I'm going to click on it. And now it's going to ask me to name it. In this case, it says, what would you like to name your custom chatbot? For example, my assistant or company helper. Nope. I'm going to go with Python bot because I want to create a bot that helps me write Python code. This is one really good example of what you could use the AI engineer functionality for. Hit enter and it's going to tell me that it likes my name. Now, before we create the chat bot, it wants to know if we're going to use any specific data sets. So if you have your own data, this is the part where you can go ahead and say, yes, please use my data. I've got some tabular data that I'm just going to show you as an example. So I'm going to type in yes. Now this is, again, purely optional. You do not have to do this, but if you've got your own data, use it. So here we go. I've got some data set. So I've got some data. So it sparks up the data set wizard. So let's go ahead and click on this. And now you're going to see here we can select an existing data set. We can upload a file zip or use a connector. I'm just going to upload a file for this one, but it's good to know that all of those options are available. I'm going to go into my finder. If you're on a PC, you know, go into your Explorer and I'm just going to drag and drop that right here, just like it's asked me to do. And I've called it tabular data because, well, that's just a nice way to put it. So there we go. I'm going to submit it. And now we are using our own data. That's very, very important. So here we go. It says you've created a new data set called uh, 172 blah, blah, blah. Okay, it's a big number. And now let's move on to defining the purpose of your chatbot. Could you please tell me what you'd like Python bot to do? So answering Python programming questions, explaining Python concepts, or helping with Python related tasks. Those are all three of the things I wanted to do. So I would, uh, we're going to go Python, oops, Python concepts. Come on, Curtis. Concepts, we want Python concepts. What else do we want? We want Python, um, we want Python to do programming. And we want Python, let's see what else we want, programming, concepts, and maybe, you know, I don't know, just stuff like that. Uh, we're going to do related tasks. We're just basically anything to do with Python. So again, this is pretty general, but if you have a very specific use case, of course, go for it. Here we go. I'm going to do that, and it's going to say, hey, thank you. 
It is now creating the custom chatbot based on the requirements I gave it, as well as the optional tabular data or the optional uh, content that I uploaded, the data that I uploaded. So here we go. And now it is executing the code. So keep in mind, you can always click on copy code. So if you see, once it's done, you can take the code and reuse it. But it also very, very cool because it will start to tell me exactly what it's doing. It's really fantastic because in this executing code section, you actually get a deep dive and you can see what it's up to. So I'm going to come back when this is done. It should take a few minutes, like it said. Then I'll show you the code and I'll show you what it's doing. Then I'm going to show you the next steps. All right, welcome back. So that took about 60 seconds here. And now we can see what it's done in this next series of steps here. It checks the features group. So here we go. Checking feature groups, execute some code for us. Keep in mind, you can click copy code at any time to take that code and use it. Execution result, all documents, type feature groups in the project are materialized now. So we uploaded our data set and it is good. Now it's checking feature mappings, executing code. Again, let's just click on copy, why not? And here's the code here, you can see what it's doing. So again, completely transparent, you can always see what's happening here. Execution result, auto inferring feature mappings, okay. That sounds pretty fancy. Setting up document retrievers. So there we go. It's using the stuff that we uploaded. Also keep in mind that you don't have to do that, but it's doing that in this case. Now this is the fun part here where it says executing the code training chat LLM model. So here we go. Python bot model is using the document retrievers we've prepared. Here we go. Let's take a look at this here. You are a specialized program programming assistant, Python programming assistant. Your primary functions are explain Python concepts clearly and concisely answer Python programming questions accurately. It gives us six of those there. Fantastic. And then here's some of the guidelines. Always strive to provide accurate, up-to-date information about Python. This is exactly what I want in a Python chatbot or in an AI engineer. And let's just keep going down here. So be patient and thorough in your explanations. Very good idea because I sometimes need to be told multiple times before I learn something. And yeah, tell me nicely because I have feelings. Uh, when responding to queries, here are the instructions that it gives for responses. Be clear, concise, and accurate. Use code snippets to illustrate concepts when helpful. I mean, this this is just fantastic. Provide context and background information when introducing new concepts. I mean, it goes on and on here, guys, but this is awesome. So this is what it does now. Now we're going to go take a look at it because we can actually click on it and we can make adjustments to it and we could even deploy it in another area rather than just using it in chat LLM. You can even deploy it outside of that. So let's take a quick look at that now. All right. So once the AI engineer has done its thing, you're going to see here at the bottom, you'll see Python bot project. This is clickable. But before we click that, watch this here. I'm going to go ahead and create a new chat, just a blank chat. What I want to do now is I'm going to click on this little down arrow and then watch this. As I go down here, you're going to see Python bot and Python bot one. So I've created two of these bots in the past, but they're both the same. But basically, you want to go ahead and select the bot that you just created. So I'm just going to click on Python bot. When I do that, you're going to see Python bot has gone ahead and gotten selected up here at the top, which is great. And then here it says, welcome to Python bot, a Python expert chatbot for concepts programming and task, which is exactly what I wanted it to do. And if you want to go a step further, you can just basically type in a Python code or a prompt, pardon me, and I've got a write a Python code to iterate the first 10 numbers. And in each iteration, print the sum of the current and previous numbers. A nice basic Python question. And then make sure that this is up and running and working well. Well, here we go. Our little Python bot has given us a code snippet with, yeah, with comments. Yeah, it looks good here. And then, yeah, here it is. It gave us a right answer. So it's essentially doing exactly what we wanted it to do, which is fantastic. Let's go ahead and go back a little here. I'm going to go back to, let's see, where is it? This one here. This one here, creating a custom chatbot. Okay, so the next thing, for those of you that are a little bit more advanced, this is a little bit outside the scope of the video, but I just want to give you a quick lay of the land of some of the things you can do here. But again, you can click on this Python bot project, this little hyperlink at the bottom here that's clickable. And then take a look at this here. You'll see here that you can go ahead and access the bot. And it, we have six different steps here. So step one, we can look at the data pipeline. We can do, you know, look at the document retrievers. You can go ahead and click on all of these different things to take a look around. But the one that I really want to uh, raise your attention to is right here. Manage deployments. 
we can go ahead and click on, for example, Start Deployment or API. Let's click on API, see what happens here. So, Predictions API Python bot. If we want to deploy our own auth token, create new token, I can. Cl you can see very clearly where this is going here. You can go ahead and deploy this bot outside of chat LLM if you so choose. So just something to keep in mind. I'm just going to go ahead and click back here into predictions, and then I'll go back maybe to Python bot here, and then, yeah, you can click around and do all of these different things with it. So just something to uh, keep in mind. And if you're ever lost, you can go ahead and click on dashboard, uh, go back to a uh, Abacus AI chat, go back into the chat, and then you can go ahead and if you need to, go ahead and click on that again and start over again. So something like that here. Here we go. If I want to go ahead and look at the data or if I want to make changes to the data that we uploaded, you can go ahead and upload a new version. You can click on the document, etc. There's so many different things you can do here, especially if you know your way around uh, some of the more technical side of things. But there you go. You can deploy it inside the chat LLM. You can deploy it independently using their API. Their new AI engineer functionality creates amazing chatbots. Abacus AI has done it again, guys. Let me know what you think of this video. What you think of this video, pardon me, in the comments below. Thanks for watching.